It's almost time for Marvel's Iron Man 3 to hit theaters, but how did Mandarin first gain his powers in the comics? A. He studied mystical and martial arts with Lee Kung and Kyun Loon. B. He stole the orange infinity gem from the gardener. C. He has no powers other than his lack of conscious and vast military training. Or D. He found ten rings on a deserted Maculan starship. Stick around for the answer to this Marvel trivia question at the end of the show. Hello Marvelites, everybody's favorite free comic book day is just two weeks away. Saturday, May 4th, fans will be able to pick up a very free issue of Infinity. Brought to us by Blockbuster creative team Jonathan Hickman and Jim Chung. Infinity number one will kick off the six issue event with the shots heard round the galaxy. A powerful and destructive race is heading for Earth and the Avengers must unite every superhero in the cosmos to stop them. However, with all of our heroes on the other end of the universe, the world lays completely unprotected from Thanos, the galaxy's most deadly villain. The free issue also includes Thanos' first solo story in its first ever reprint. Don't forget to mark May 4th in your calendars for free comics. Do you guys love fighting fanboys, brother? I'm so sorry for that impression. If so, you're about to get body slammed. With excitement, Marvel Marauders, Agent M, Ben Morris, and Blake Garris have been all over the wrestling scene lately. Luckily, not fighting, just doing interviews with your favorite hulks and hunks alike. Keep your eyes peeled in coming days for WrestleMania 29, access interviews, and behind the scenes content with all of your favorite WWE stars. Check those out, link down below, and look around. Keep your eyes peeled for even more content coming to Marvel.com. And while we're talking about guys who look great shirtless, Marvel's Captain America The Winter Soldier has begun filming this week. It's been announced that screen legend Robert Redford joins the cast as Agent Pierce, a senior leader within S.H.I.E.L.D. Redford will be in good company alongside returning castmates Chris Evans, Samuel L. Jackson, Scarlett Johansson, Haley Atwell, and Kobe Smulders. And it looks like Natasha will be taking on a greater role in the Captain America sequel. After the harrowing events of Marvel's The Avengers, the ever-adjusting to the future Steve Rogers will team up with Black Widow against a powerful and shadowy enemy in DC. Look forward to Captain America The Winter Soldier in theaters April 4th of 2014. So what do you guys think of all this movie news? Tell me what you think down below. And now it's time for the watch list where I give you my top picks for books hitting comic stores and the Marvel Comics app this Wednesday, April 17th. First up, Age of Ultron companion pieces, Age of Ultron number six by Brian Michael Bendis with art by Brandon Peterson and Carlos Pacheco. The team has put together a plan of attack, but Sue Storm and Wolverine have gone rogue. See where their adventures take them in Wolverine and the X-Men number 27 AU as they take a road trip back in time. It's so hard to take pit stops when you're time traveling, isn't it? There just aren't enough gas stations that carry energy cubes. Next up, Superior Spider-Man number 8 by Dan Slott with art by Umberto Ramos. Is Otto turning over a new leaf when he saves the little girl's life? Or is he just preparing to do something horrible? My money is on something horrible. And last up, Captain Marvel number 12 by Kelly Sue DeConnick with art by Felipe Andrade and always thrilling colors by Jordi Belair. Carol Danvers is on doctor's orders. No flying. Or there could be serious consequences. But some villains never seem to let you take a sick day. How insensitive. And now it's time for Amazing Fantasy Showdown, where we throw down on who we want to show down, brother! That was a really good impression. July is gonna be superior. Spider-Man Month on Marvel.com and Thanos joins Infinity in May, but one of these two Dark Titan battles are now. Tell me what you think down below in your comment. I just watched on The Watcher. I'm so sorry. <laughs> a special thanks to YouTube commenter Deep Chaos Kid, who answered our previous question. Who'd win in a brawl between the Jean Grey School and Cyclops' new school, saying, The Jean Grey School has had more experience and time to sort itself out, whereas the Cavour School is still gathering students while its faculty is limited and can barely control their powers. Jean Grey all the way. I guess it helps to, I don't know, have a school where the teachers aren't broken. And if you guessed the answer to our opening question was D, that Mandarin got his power from 10 rings he found on an alien spaceship, hey, you were right. He liked it, so he put 10 rings on it. See you next time, True Believers. I'm Lorraine Singh for Marvel, your universe.
Marvel, your universe.